Give up now. We got we got some good we got some good smooth stuff in here, and then we got some stuff that ain't smooth. But don't what? Don't, don't give, give up. up. Amen. I you know I see how people can take scriptures out of the Bible and they won't give you the rest of it. Because they want to give you something smooth. So what we're gonna do is give it all to you. But don't what? Don't, don't give, give up now. Don't give up when we give it all to you. Lord, have mercy, God. I bless myself here. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap for you. God is somebody. Amen. Thank God for the word. Amen. Come look at page 534, 2 Chronicles 15 and 7. Amen. Page 534, 2 Chronicles 15 and 7. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless God. This is another day. Amen. The Lord has made. We will rejoice. Amen. And be glad in it. I tried sad. It didn't work out for me too good. Right in your bones. Amen. It's good to just have joy when everything gone wrong. Uh, as Second Chronicles 15 and 7. Be ye strong, therefore, and not, not let your hand be weak. The boy, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't, give, don't let your hand get weak. You know, sometimes you, you get a little tired along the way. For your works shall be you going to reward you. So don't give up when you get a little tired. Amen. Call on you some Jesus. Amen. He'll give you the stretch you need. Amen. That you need to make it through. Bless God. Amen. I called on the day this morning. I was calling. I knew I'll do me some coffee. I feel good now. I said, I feel good. Amen. It'll work for you. Look at that eighth verse. And when Asai heard these words in the prophecy of Odai, the, the, the prophet, he took charge and put away the abominable idols out of all the land of Judah and Benjamin and out of the city of Ephraim and renew the altar of the Lord that was before the porch of the Lord. Now notice this man here, he got himself, he got, he repented. When he heard the goodness of God, amen, how God was gone, amen, what God was going to do for him. Now he said, I'm going to change your week now because I'm, I'm going to reward you for your work. So evidently he was getting a little tired along the way, amen, as, as we do sometimes. And, but we're going to see you're going to have opposition. You always have Opposition when God give you a word. And that's something. I wonder why it's like that. You get opposition. I mean, everybody get things start coming against you. Hey Amen. I guess uh, he wants to see what you're going to do if you're going to give up. That's why the message is don't, don't give up. Hey amen. Look at, look at that ninth verse. And when he gathered, hey amen, all Judea and Benjamin, Benjamin and the strangers with them out of Ephraim. Amen. And Manas and out of Simon, for they fell, fell to him out of Israel and abundance uh, when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. Lord, have mercy, God. People don't know when God is with you. They don't know how you're making it through. All that stuff would come against you. And you still up here. Amen. Serving God. Lord, have mercy, because you ain't giving up. Amen. Look at that 10 drive. Uh, so they gathered themselves together at Jerusalem in the third month, in the fifteenth year of the reign of Asa. And they offered unto the Lord the same time of the spoil which he, they had brought, seven hundred oxen and seven thousand sheep. Well, who we, all, we need to offer that up today? No, sir. No, why not? We got Jesus, we got Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's been offered up for us. My God, he got somebody. Lord, they going to Thank you for that, Lord. Amen. Look at that 12 verse. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap. Amen. For his son. Amen. Being offered. Amen. For us. Amen. Bless God. Uh, 12 verse. And he entered into a covenant. Amen. And seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their hearts and with all their what? So That's how we have to seek God. When all hell and broke loose. Amen. We need to seek God with all our heart. Amen. With all our soul. Give everything back to God. Because he's going to get us through this thing. Amen. So don't give up. My God, my God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless God. I don't bless myself here. I ain't even got started yet. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Uh, so the engine of the company would look at 13 for us. That whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether she are small or great, whether men or women. Thank God we ain't in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Because if he didn't seek after God, what happened? Put to death. We'll put him to death. Well, you wouldn't have nobody left. Jesus, the Bible says, Sean. Nowhere. No, but, but Mike said, Nowhere. All the churches probably be here. Let me get back over here. That wasn't in the note. 
Amen. 14th verse. And, and he swear the man unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpet and with corn, cornets. Oh, they got to praise in God. My God, my God. And all the dear rejoice at hope, uh, for they swarm with, with all their heart and, and sought him with their whole desire. And he was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. What he did? Amen. God will give you rest when you repent. Amen. Come to the Lord. Amen. Give your life back to God. Amen. Bless God. He'll give you some rest. But you don't have to run in the streets no more. And run in and out of the nightclub, you know, every, every other place you go to. Uh, let me get back here. Lord, I don't know where all you be gone. Amen. Look at that 16th verse. Amen. And also concerning, amen, Machoth, the mother of Asa, amen, the king, he removed her front from being queen. Oh, he's taking her out. Amen. They're cleaning the house right now. Amen. Because she had made an hour and a grove, and Asa cut down her hour and, and stamped it and burned it in the brook of Kedron. He got rid of the miles. She had set all the miles up. And then she had the children of Israel go in the wrong direction, so God had to put a whipping on them. Now, amen, bless God, God appeared to the total prophet, amen, with what they go tell Asi, so Asi believed God. It's good when you can believe the word of God, repent, turn from your wicked ways, come back to God, amen, and serve him so you can be rewarded. Amen, bless God. You're going to get rewarded one way or another. God, I'd rather, get, I'd rather do it the right way. Help me, Lord. Help me. Amen, bless God. Look at somebody, brother. But the high places are not... Uh, taken away out of Israel, uh, nevertheless, the heart of Esau was perfect all his ways. I wonder, if, you know, I wonder why Christians don't do it all the way. Why they just got to hold on to something? <laughs> that old junk of flesh. That yeah, old junk of flesh. Now they they're supposed to get rid of everything, and they they kept they kept a little bit. They kept the rose. And they, Lord, how much of God? The, the scripture said, and the high places were not taken, taken away. They're supposed to get rid of the high places also. So that's going to be a stumbling block for them when they get ready to serve God. So in order, in order for something not to be a stumbling block, amen, for us, we need to get rid of oh. all of it. Get rid of all of it. Don't hold on to none of that stuff. That's going to be the stuff that can take you under. So uh, I thank God, amen, that, amen, bless God. I ain't giving up. I'll fight. I'll fight all of it. Amen. Bless God. All of it. If Herman wanted to try to hold on to something, I know when I first got saved. Amen. Bless God. Uh, I wanted to keep my white, white wall, big old white walls on the Riviera. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, so, now I want to keep my super, super fly hat in my little walk. I was wearing out some shoes. My, my heels and all stuff was, I had to buy it. But when I, when the Lord finished with me, amen, and I got rid of it all, uh, I, my shoes last longer. I ain't got that cool walk no more. Let me get back over here. Good to get rid of it all. I said it's good to get rid of all of it. They didn't get rid of it all, but yet their heart was perfect because they sought after the Lord without the miles. When you deal, when you find out that the heart was perfect, that's because they weren't dealing with hours anymore. Amen. But they, they kept they kept a little something on the side. Lord, have mercy, God. Look at the 18th verse. And, and he brought a man into the house of God, the thing, amen, that his father had dedicated, and that he himself had dedicated, silver and gold and vessel. And, and there were no more war unto the five and thirteen year of the reign of Asa. So God will give you peace from your enemies. The Bible says, there's another scripture that says that if, you, if your ways please the Lord, he'll make your enemies be at your footstool. So how do you please God? Right? Do it right. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. If you're Bible, said we make it where you can understand it. Just do right. Get rid of it all. And don't give up when the trials come your way. Amen. When the circumstances come and try you. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. To page 797. Amen. As Isaiah 41 and 10. Isaiah 41. Amen. And 10. Amen. And Isaiah. Amen. 41 and 10. Page 797. Amen. Page 7. Amen. 97. Amen. 41. Amen. And 10. Uh, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. He said, don't be what? Dismayed. Hey, don't be dismayed. Don't fear. Don't what? Don't be afraid. Don't. Amen. Thank God for Sister Kim, Sister Ben, and the house. Give the Lord a hand clap for her. 
Amen. And being in the house of God today. Amen. Thank God, fellas. God bless you, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Lord don't want us to fear people in our circumstances and situations. What, what fear we should have? That's the only fear we should have is of God. You see, you get the fear of God, you don't want to do wrong. And it's clean. We'll keep you clean because you ain't doing nothing wrong. Oh, I'm going to make it plain when you can understand it. Amen. Bless God. I am strengthened. I, I will strengthen thee. Who's going to strengthen me? God. So when I get a little weak, I say, Lord, you got to give me some strength. I say, you got to give me some supernatural strength because this physical body here, amen, can't, can't help me. And then I need to take uh, some energy drink. Well, I, uh, when you, you know, you don't take energy drink when you're on a fast. You're going to need something from God. From God. Energy drink ain't going to do you no good because you ain't supposed to be taking that in your mouth. Lord, I said, Lord, you've got to shred me. And I got me some shred this morning. I thank God. Amen. Thank you for that, Lord. Give the Lord another hand clap. Amen. And the scripture said he'll strengthen you. So I thank God for the strength. Amen. I would help thee. Yea. I would hold thee with the right hand uh, of my righteousness. Of who righteousness? His righteousness. His righteousness. Amen. Look at that 11 verse. Behold. Lord, I bless myself here. Amen. Behold, uh, all they that were increased against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. Uh, they shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Now, who's going who to fight for you? It's not like God doing some fighting now. Hey, you, ain't doing, you ain't doing no fighting here now. That's about to be God now. So he said, he said, I'm going to take care of the situation for you. Amen. Bless God. Uh, for I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, said unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Amen. Uh, 14 verse 9, uh, fear not again in the 14 verse. Fear not, uh, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, said the Lord, and thou redeemer and the holy one of Israel. See, they were afraid because the enemy done beat them up. Well, they got beat up because of what? Disobedient. I tell you, we're going to give you air, all of it. We're going to make it all smooth. We're going to give it all of it. Amen. But here, amen, we're seeing that God coming in, amen, and bring it back out again. Again. Lord, have mercy, God. Help me to stay out, Lord. I don't go in. I don't go back in that time. Amen. I, I'm not mean. Lord, have mercy. Give the Lord another hand clap. Thank God. Thank God for the word. Oh, we bless you, Lord. 15 verse. Amen. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp Thrusting an instrument, uh, having teeth. Thou shalt thrust the, the mountain and beat them small, and shall make the hills as shall. Amen. Sound like to me, God going to give us something to whip them devils with. Amen. They ain't going to be whipping on us no more. Lord, I said, God going to give us anointing. Amen. Bless God. All he have to do, all I have to do is don't give up. So if I don't give up, amen, he going to give me what I need to win this battle. I mean. And then he's going to turn around and give me some rest from my enemy, from the devil. Amen. If I please him, I can give me some rest. I <laughs> bless myself, Lord. Uh, 65. Thou shalt find them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Amen. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue fell of the thirst, I, the Lord, will Hear them, I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. So when you get a little thirsty, you say, I'm going to take care of that thirst. That's so right now. Now, if y'all can find me in the Bible, you ain't going to go through nothing. I eat the page. Can y'all find me anything in the Bible where you never going to go through something? Always see in this Bible, you're going to go through something. But God said, I'll be there to help you to go through it. All you got to do is come to me. Seek after me. I'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. Don't give up. Amen. Lord, how much of God? 18 verse. I will open rivers and high places and fountains and then in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. 19 verse. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the uh, shattered tree. Who's who doing the plant now? God. <laughs> God planted the tree. They ain't got to plant no tree. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord. Amen. The murder in the all tree. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. We glory. We glorify you here, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. I was set in, in the desert. Amen. A fire tree and a pine and a box and a, and a tree together. Twilight bird. Uh, that they may see and know and consider, understand together 
that the hand of the Lord had done this. Did they can't say they did it. They ain't had no trees there. <laughs> but all of a sudden they got some. Uh, Y'all think I'm going somewhere? I ain't going nowhere. And the Holy One of Israel had created it. I'm the one that created the trees there. My God. I put them there for you. Yeah, I'm the one that did it. I created it. Amen. Sometimes when I, I got some organs in this body here, ain't working right, I ask the Lord to create me some new organs. What's wrong with that problem? Can he do it? Amen. He, he, ain't nothing he can't do. He can do it. Amen. He, he created everything else. He can create you some new organs. Amen. Bless God. Whatever it is. Giving you problems. Amen. Bless God. Uh, just, just make sure you don't go back and do what caused the problem. Amen. That's the main thing. Uh, of course, you age sometimes, you get a little older. Amen. You wear out some parts. You do what? Drive a car long enough to see if you don't wear out. Uh, you, who you think you are? Amen. You're going to wear out some parts, so you need God to restore. Oh, I'm learning some things about that body that's blowing my little mind right now. I didn't know you can eat certain things in, in, in your, and the cells in your body re restore the cell. Restores the body. God built it that way. God, that's the way he fixed it. But we ain't got that knowledge to know how to get the body repaired because we're eating up everything. <laughs> Let me get back over here. That wasn't in the notes. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Uh, help, help us, Lord. Amen. Look at the eternal word. Produce our cause and say uh, the Lord, bring forth uh, uh, your strong uh, reasons, uh, say the king of Jacob. So God going to do it all for me. Amen. If I just. Don't give up. If I don't give up, nah. You ain't gonna do something if I give up. You ever seen anybody win a race and they gave up? No, sir. They just jump out the race. You ever seen them win? I ain't never seen nobody win a race when you jump out. Ah, not me. They can't win. So you gotta you gotta stay in the race. You gotta stay in this race now. If you're gonna if you're gonna win, amen. Don't give up now. Come with me now. Amen. Come with me now to page eight fifty five. Jeremiah 29 and 8, page 855. Now, you see in here, uh, they got some good stuff in there, some smooth stuff, but I got to give it I got to give it all to you now. Can't give you just the smooth. Amen. Uh, Jeremiah 8. Lord, I'm going to bless myself here. Oh, yeah, I see. 29, 29 and 8. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. And I'm going after this grocery. I need this. Thank you, Lord. Uh, for thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophet, your, your, your diviners, that be in the midst of you, uh, deceive you. How, how can they deceive you? They ain't going to lie to you, make everything is all right. When God might be putting a whipping on you. And they tell you everything is okay. Well, sometimes you have to repent. Amen. Uh, when you repent, then you know, amen, you're in right standing with God. And then when all hell breaks loose, you know that God's going to break you, bring you through it. Amen. So I ask God, amen, to help me, amen, to do right. So that way when I'm in a storm, amen, I know I've been doing right. So I know the storm ain't there because I've been doing right. The storm is there for God to bring me through it. Let me get back with you. Look at nine verse. Amen. That's good, brother John. Amen. For thou uh, uh, prophets uh, falsely, uh, uh, for, for they prophesied falsely unto you in who name? God. In my name. They're doing that falsely. They're they using my name, prophesying you, and, and, and giving you smooth stuff. Lord have mercy, God. Uh, when, 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 when there's a whipping going on, Lord have mercy. Uh, I have not sent them, said the Lord. I didn't even send them. But they, but they said the Lord said. <laughs> what what they saying? God. God, God said that. Well, you find out if God said it. Go ahead on. Keep saying good morning. Lord, have mercy, God. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap for you. Amen. Bless God. We got ten right. Amen. But, but thus said the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you and cause you to return to this place. Uh, how many years? Seventy. Seventy years. Now, what they what they doing in that for 70 years? Why they, why they got in there for 70 years? In Babylon. Disobedience. He was putting the whipping on them. But the prophet was prophesying smooth stuff to them. When it was time for them to seek after God, the prophet was prophesying smooth things, amen, in their troubles, Lord, in, in Babylon, and, and because they had done something wrong. Now, 
You know what I got out of this? Let, 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 let me say that here. Uh, and you understand where I'm coming from because I done chewed it. So you ain't going to have no problem swallowing. Amen. It's going to go down good. Amen. It's going to go down easy. Amen. So this, this is the thing I, I, I looked at. Uh, why would I want to give you something smooth when you need to repent? Now, if I give you all of the word of God and you find out you're doing something against God, then you would have to get it right with God. Amen. So that way you won't have to keep catching whippings. Now, since you done got the word of God on how to get right with God, now God got the blessings that we was that he that he wasn't he was he were holding from you, Amen, because of what you was doing wrong. But you see, because you were sitting in this church and the preacher gave you all that smooth stuff, you didn't even know you was doing wrong. He threw the law out. He threw the law out. Now you don't even know what you're doing. So you don't know what's right, and you don't know what's wrong. So you've got your own little standards now. You ain't got God's standards because then you don't, you, you don't know his standards. You threw it away. So I said, Lord, you know, that makes a lot of sense to me. If I'm in something, I want you to tell me, amen, the truth about me. So that way, when you tell the truth about me, then I can, oh, I see why, I see why I'm catching that whipping. Okay, Lord, I'll see it now. It's in your word. Amen. I see what I'm doing. Lord, forgive me. I'm coming back to, I'm coming back to you, Lord. Clean me up. Let the blood of Christ wash me. Now I'm back in right standing with God. That's by faith. You don't see this thing. The word says that's the way you do it. So I do it the way the word tells me to do it. I follow instructions. And once I follow the instruction, then I know, bless God, I'm going to be rewarded for good things. I don't care what it look like. Mm -hmm. My God. Look at the tip, right? But that said the Lord, now if it is, he, uh, uh, Lord, have mercy, God. Well, what verse we're on? 11. We're going on 11? Okay. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now if it, if it, if it pronounce some good things on him. Now this is the smooth stuff they give you without giving you the rest of it. Amen. Now, if it is pronounced some smooth things, but that, that's what we need. We need some smooth things. That's what we repent it. You don't need the smooth thing. You're still in it. You need to repent to get the smooth stuff. Amen. Oh, we own it now. Amen. If I know the thoughts, amen, that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of what? I know the thoughts of y'all thinking about you now. I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm, I want to do you some peace now. I put a good whipping on you for 70 years. How long you learned? That's a long time, 70 years. Oh, Lord, don't, amen. Uh, help me, Lord Jesus. Amen. I don't want to go through, I don't want to go through no more whippings. Amen. Thank God he's more merciful than he was back then. Lord, have mercy. If you had to go 70 years, you might not make it because I don't know how old you are. Amen. Toward you, said the Lord, amen, thoughts of peace and not of what? Uh, I'm not going to put evil on you now. So when God brings evil, is God wrong? No. No. Because, because that's the king. That's the judgment. That's the judgment. So when he brings evil on you, amen, it, it, it's, it's righteous judgment. If you call that righteous judgment, Lord, have mercy. He right. You did something. Yeah, I did something wrong. Yeah. I did something wrong. He ain't going to so, bring it on you unless you do something wrong. Yeah, you ever, but Young said, he ain't going to bring it on you unless you do something wrong. So I did. And so he ain't going to bring evil on me. So sometimes you'll go through some things, amen, bless God, and it don't, it don't come from God. It comes from the devil. So you got to know the difference. I say you have to know the difference. <laughs> we say that again, brother. You know the difference. Your brother, your brother, and I say you know the difference. Hey, Amen. You, you, you walk with God. You, you will know. And not of evil, and give you what? And expect the end. I'm gonna give you a better end. I'm gonna give you a better end than what you had. Now you can't beat that kind of promise. That God has promised me that He gonna give me a better end than my beginning. Do this well, brother. Amen. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will what? I wonder why he wouldn't listen to me before. Because you were sinning. I was sinning, and man gave me something smooth. I had the prophet prophesy me smooth thing, and I was living like the devil. So then I thought God was listening to me. He was hearing me, and he wasn't hearing me because I was deceived. My God, my God. Lord, thank God for the truth. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Couldn't catch that whipping now. Don't give up. Get back in the race. And if you're doing right and, you can, and, and things are oh, broken loose against you, don't give up. Because God got a promise for you. Amen. 
All right, God, it's going to work out for you. It's going to work out for you good. Lord, I must. And I'm going to listen to you. Look at 13, right? And you shall seek me and what? I come on out looking for him before I couldn't find him. Because a man gave me some smooth stuff. And he didn't tell me I needed to repent. And I'm up there seeking after God. And God ain't, I don't even feel this present like I used to. I don't what? I don't feel this present like I used to. What done happened here? Man that gave me something smooth. And, and find him and you shall search for me with what? All your heart. Amen. Bless God. Look at that fourth right. And I will be found of you, said the Lord, and will turn away your what? I'll I, I put you in the captivity, but I'm going to turn it away for you now. I'm going to let you go free. Oh, what a promise. Thank you, Jesus. I received that now, Lord. And I will gather you from all the nations from which the places wherein I have driven you. Who, dri who, who did that? God said, I'm the one that drove you in all these different places. But I'm going to bring you back. He talking about Jerusalem now. You're gonna break. Now you can see them, amen, even today. Amen, coming back to Jerusalem. They were, they were scattered about even today in different places. You still see that happening today. Now this is in the Old Testament, and it's happening as we speak. You got a lot of them coming back home. Where God and drove, and drove them out, out of the land. But they're coming back. What a God. What a God. And he said, I, I will turn away that your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations from which all the places of what I have driven you, said the Lord, and I will bring you again into the, uh, into the place uh, which I have called you to be carried away captives. I will bring you back to Jerusalem. Because they ended up in Babylon. They gave them over to the enemy. So sometimes God gives over to the devil. Let the devil get hold of us. And when that devil, he don't, he don't show no mercy. You know what? He don't show no mercy on me. My God. My God. I ain't going nowhere, Lord. I, I'm standing here with you. Amen. Bless God. Come in to page 1271. Amen. Page 12. Don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. Hang in there. If you're catching a whipping, hang in there. If you ain't catching no whipping and you're going through trials, hang in there. Amen. Bless God. He's going to bring you through it. He'll bring you through. Come with me. Galatians 6. Amen. Uh, 6 and uh, 6. That's the 6th chapter, the 6th verse. Amen. That's page 12. 71. Let him that is taught in the, in the word communicate, amen, unto him teaching in all good things. Why do you think God wants us to communicate with one another? Yeah. Well, what do you think the other person is going to talk about? He's going to talk about Jesus. The other time he's going to be talking about a bunch of junk. Amen. So when you communicate with another amen. child of God, amen, they communicate going to be about the Lord. <laughs> Y'all got that one? Got it now. My God, Lord, how much? Tell me, uh, be not what? Deceived. Don't be deceived now, because uh, God is not what? Don't, he ain't mark. He ain't mark. Don't let man fool you now with all that smooth stuff. Amen. If you're doing something wrong. Amen. Bless God. Uh, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he reap. Now, the word of God told me if I, if I go back sowing bad stuff again, I'm going to reap that. So if I repent and, and come back to the Lord, amen, start sowing good stuff, amen, Brother John brought a good message, amen, Friday. I needed that message yesterday, amen, that message, bless my soul, amen, to humble yourself, amen. I, I ran into a situation yesterday, amen, bless God, folks with y'all, yammy, 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 yammy with their mouth, and I just humble myself. I just humble myself. Let, let them say what they want to say. And then what? I needed that mess. That's a good mess. And I felt so good. While they were feeling bad, I was feeling good. Yeah. Ain't God somebody? That's good when you can feel good in a bad situation. It takes God to do that. There ain't no way else you can do it. Ain't no way else you can have peace in the midst of a storm. But Jesus. But Jesus. He's the Prince of Peace. That's what the Bible calls him. The Prince of Peace. So I thank God for that lesson. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap in the name of Jesus for that lesson Friday. Amen. I needed that lesson. That lesson blessed my soul. Then I thought about the opposite. The opposite of humble is what? Being what? Wait, the opposite of being uh, humble is pride. Is pride. That's what we did with Friday. The opposite of hum hum being humble is being pride. I didn't want him to come in there. Oh, Herman, he tried to rise up. He tried to rise up. I said, oh, no, you ain't going nowhere, brother. Y'all pull him down. I said, he came on down. Hey, Amen. I stayed humble. Lord, have mercy, God. And I felt so much peace on me. Oh, Lord Jesus. Money couldn't buy and the word couldn't give to me. It, 
Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Give the Lord a hand, hand clap for him. Thank God. I said, thank God for the word. Amen. Oh, I remember a long time ago, he, he, he wouldn't have took that. Amen. He gave him a piece of his mind. And then you keep giving a piece of your mind. How much mind you have left? You have no mind left, then you're going to be on, on the sixth floor of a hospital. That's what it is. Uh, is they still got that sixth floor of the hospital? No. Fifth floor. Fifth floor? They got a whole they, facility now. They, they got, got a whole facility. Floor, they got a oh, whole that, facility. That's where the people, when they, when they buy they together, they, they put them on the floor. Some of them on one of the floors. Yeah, they put them uh, on the floor. Lord, I don't want to go on one of the floors. Hip hammer. Amen. And he keep himself humble and don't give up, give up being humble. Oh, don't give up. <laughs> don't give up being humble. Uh-uh, not me, Lord. Help, help him. Help him, Jesus. Amen. Bless God. Look at his right. Yeah. Uh, for the sword, amen, to his flesh, and what? Of uh, the flesh reap, amen, uh, reap corruption. And hey, y'all tell me what I'm going to get out of it. Amen. Now, this is Paul. I wonder why they don't get that. I wonder why they don't teach that. This is Paul writing to the Galatian church. How come you don't teach that? Amen. They want to give folks smooth stuff. You better stop giving folks everything smooth. Give them some stuff that uh, turn them around back to God. I said, give them something that will turn them back to God. Amen. Because God got something for them. Got something for them if they don't give up. Amen. Uh, but he that saw to the Spirit, shall the Spirit read what? Everlasting. I get never that life but so in the spirit. I don't get nothing but, but corruption so into the flesh. Amen. Bless God. So I got the word of God telling me I need a soul time. So I thank God for his spirit. And now what spirit are we talking about here now? The spirit of God. The spirit of God. So I, I got to have the spirit of God. Amen. To sow in. Amen. But I have to have knowledge. Amen. Of the spirit of God. Amen. The spirit of God is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Against such there is no law. You're not breaking the law when you're walking in the spirit of God. Amen. In fact, you're upholding the law of God because you're not sinning. You're not operating in the flesh. The flesh is the one that sinned against God. It's the one that breaks the law. Amen. Bless God. That's why a man don't want to, uh, a man want to throw away the law so he can let this junk and flesh control something. I don't want nothing to control me, Lord. Not this flesh. No, not none of it. I don't want none of it. I don't want no pets, friends, sin. I don't want none of them sins, Lord. Amen. Help me. Amen. To get rid of all of it. And help me that I don't give up when I'm in the battle. I humble myself. I do what? Humble. humble myself, Lord. Help me to humble myself. To stay humble. Look at the ninth verse. Amen. And who do you think you're talking to in the ninth verse? He's talking to He's talking about what they're doing right now. Yeah. This ain't for everybody. <laughs> amen. Ninth verse is not for everybody. Amen. It's for, the, it's for us, amen, for those, those that want to be right. And let us not be weary in what? Well done. Well done. See, because a, right, a, a righteous person want to do what is well. They want to do right. Amen. So he said, don't get weary, because sometimes you get a little tired. So don't give up and get weary, amen, along the way. Amen. Bless God. But continue calling on God, amen, when you can't do what you're supposed to do. Amen. Call on him. Lord have mercy. Uh, for in due season, you shall what? I got benefits if I don't give up. I don't give up. In due season, I'm going to reap if I don't give up. If I don't faint along the way, amen, and give up and just throw in a towel. I, I don't know how to do that. Amen. Bless God. If it's in Western Dictionary, I'm not going to go look it up. Because I said, yes, sir, Lord, I don't know how to give up. Amen. I mean, I was going through something yesterday. Amen. I said, Lord, I don't know how. Amen. That's how I got this message. I said, I got this message. My God, for, for Herman. For who? I got this message for Herman. For John. For John. For him. Amen. Lord, have mercy, God. Don't give up. Amen. So in the, in the 10th verse, amen, uh, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do how, how many mean? Oh. So that's for everybody. To everybody, I don't care if the folks that curse you out, whatever they said about you, amen, you have to do good to them, amen. Uh, to all men, especially the to the household of faith. Especially the ones that have, those, those that are walking in the faith. He said, I want you to do especially to them. I want you to do good to them. And doesn't do good to those that are, you know ain't doing good to you. So I, anybody, it, it ain't no use me trying to find scripture to get back at you. Uh, guess what? I ain't gonna find none. The only thing I'm gonna find to get back at you, forgive. The only thing I'm gonna find to get back at you is to love you. And now if I stay on track with that, I know, Amen. And if I don't give up, I know I got a reward. 
<laughs> I'm going to reward if I don't give up. And stay humble. Is all that. Stay humble. Stay humble. Love and that's, that, that, that message got in my spirit, brother John. Amen. Bless God. Never forgive and be humble. Stay humble. Amen. Bless God. So now, amen, we see that, amen, to all men, especially to them, amen, who household of faith, especially them, amen. You all, you, uh, uh, let, let's go to another, amen, that Paul took, getting ready to talk about how Lord the Lord wrote to the, to the, to the Gentiles. Lord have mercy. Uh, let's look at uh, page uh, 260 as Joshua 1. Amen. Page 260. Lord, I bless myself here. I got, I'm getting a little light. I feel a little light up here now. Amen. I feel like, like a little feather, like I can fly. Amen. Come with me now. Amen. And Joshua, amen, one and two. Amen. Joshua, one and two. Amen. Moses, my servant, is dead. What did he say? Yeah, he dead now. now don't y'all give up because he dead. See, some folks, you know, they give up because so-and-so done left the scene, you know. Uh, this person gone, that person gone. Well, don't give up now because it's, it's your turn now. You gotta go. You gotta go on with this. Don't give up. Most of my servant is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, die to all these people unto the land which I, I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. So the Lord said, "Okay, now I'm gonna give y'all. I'm gonna give Joshua. Now he got the torch. Now he gonna have to run with it. Now you know he was under he was under Moses." So Moses trained him. So when you get in, in, in under somebody and they train you, amen, at least know how to handle your situation and don't give don't give up. Because you've been, you've been under somebody that trained you. So Moses, Moses trained Joshua. And I bless myself here. Lord, have mercy. Third friend, every place you've had in the sole of your foot, uh, should tread upon that I have given unto you as I said unto Moses. So now, what they had to do to get this land? Who they had to fight? They had to fight the Amorite, the Jebusite, the Jebusite, all them sides. Did you know they had sight on the end of them? They had to fight all them sides, amen, and get the promise of God. Now, uh, God gave us eternal life, but we got to fight. Uh, got to fight the devil. You got to fight the devil. I mean, you got to fight sin. You got to fight. Amen. And don't give up. Give up. Thank God. Give the Lord another hand clap for you. Give it God to somebody. Thank you for the word, Lord. So he said, I'm, I'm giving it to you now. Amen. Get forward. Amen. From the wilderness and, 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 and Lebanon, even, amen, unto the great river, the, uh, the river of the amen, and the land of Hittite, amen, unto the great sea toward the gone down, amen, of the sun shall be your coast. Therefore, as shall be not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. God said, I'll never fail you. I'll never forsake you. Just like I was with Moses. He told Josh, I'm going to be with you. Amen. Bless God. That's why I ain't giving up. I know who's on my side. If God is with you, who can be against you? Big uh, Bible said nobody. Ain't no answer to that. There's ain't nobody. Ain't give up somebody. I ain't giving up. Amen. Because I got his word. Amen. Tell me he's going to be with me. Lord, have mercy, God. If I don't give up, if I don't forsake him, if I don't backslide, amen, he said he'll be with me. Amen. Some condition goes with that now. Amen. Be obedient to his word. Amen. Bless God. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, so he said, there ain't going to be no uh, man be able to stand. So there ain't going to be a devil. Amen. No devil, amen. Walking this earth, going to be able to withstand you. Because God is on your side. So you just don't give up. You get sick for Be what? Be strong. be strong. And have a good courage. Amen. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. This time you don't get no courage from people. So you have to encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. Build yourself up. Lord, how much it? In the word of God. Amen. For unto these people, amen, shall thou divide for inheriting the land which I swear to their fathers to give them. So can God, when God swear, can he break his promise? No. So what, what caused the promise not to come to me? Obedience, obedience, 
disobedient to God and, and, and giving up. If I give up, I ain't going to get the promise. So I can't give up and I can't be disobedient. Neither one of them things can run with me. If they run with me, oh, I'm going to put them under my feet. I heard the sister say the devil is under our feet. He said that this morning. So I'm going to put him where he belongs. He ain't come and whispering that brand new little DDD to me and telling me I need to give up. Ah, no, you go play that to somebody else. I don't know how to do that. Amen. Bless God. Thank God. Get a lot of hands out. Thank God for the word. Seven verse. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe, amen, to do according to all the law. How much law? I want you, I want you to do it all. Don't take pieces out of it and parts. And don't want to do the rest. Uh, uh, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee, turn not from the right hand to, uh, to the left, and that thou mayest prosper whether thou goest. What's going to cause you to prosper? Being Obedient to the law, being right. Amen. Obeying God's word. Amen. So that's going to make me prosper. One day, a long time ago, when I was doing jail ministry, when I first started getting jail, I read that and I said, Now, Lord, how is it a man going to prosper? And I go back and I read that again, and it said, when I obey the law. Then I go back and I, I said, Lord, how can I prosper? It, it, it took a while before it got in there. It's in there now. Oh, it ain't going nowhere. Get the Lord hand dry for real. Amen. Get the Lord. So I know how to prosper. Amen. I said, I know how to prosper. Amen. God bless my sister. Y'all pray for, for our sister, man. She has to go. Amen. Bless God. So I know how to prosper, and, and that's being obedient, amen, and following his law. If I don't depart from it, if I don't give up, throw in the towel, listen to man with his smooth stuff, amen, and, 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 and listen to him go in a different direction, and, and they ain't got no law now. I'm just doing anything I want to do uh, as long. I heard a man on, on the radio, he said, he said, uh, once you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, he said that uh, when you get to heaven, you're not going to be judged. What y'all said about that big news about us, sir? When you accept Jesus Christ, your person to save you, you will not be judged at all. You, you, huh? No, that don't sound right. That don't sound right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Bible say that don't sound right. Don't sound it don't sound right. You know why it don't sound right? It don't line up with the word. If you go, if you go into into the word of God in the book of Revelation, uh, uh, the judgment gonna begin where? He's going to begin in the house. How you ain't going to be judged when he's going to begin in his house? He's going to clean his house out. First. And the first thing he's going to do is get his house clean. So when I listen to that, I say, oh, and this, this brother a good teacher, too. He's a good teacher. And he on radio, TV. I said, hey, somebody take, care, take that and run with that. That's, wrong. That's too smooth. So when they get before God, amen, and, 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 and God and God get to talk to them about their problem and the situation they didn't did and didn't repent of it, they didn't repent, amen, and kept doing wrong, and, but, but they get up there and they say, well, you know, the preacher said. Yeah, but if they're judging, judging themselves and then they're looking at that, they're going to see something wrong in that picture. Huh? I see if they're judging themselves and they're looking at that, they're going to see something wrong in that picture. Yeah, if you judge yourself, but they may not know the script of judge yourself. They might go believe that once you get before God, you will have to be judged. That's that one saved always that one, that Once you receive Jesus Christ. That's that one saved always saved. That must be what that is. Yes. You heard what Brother John said? That's all like that one saved always saved a man telling you about. Yeah. So when you get to be, all right, don't line up the word. Because the word says you're going to be judged. I'm going the word. I'm through with man. I, hey, if anybody asks you whose side I'm on, uh, it's about it's, Jesus, the Bible says there's no over here. I ain't on Herman's side. You know who that is? That's me. I'm not on this side either. I'm on the Lord's side. The righteous side. Yeah, the righteous side. That's it, Brother John. I mean, get along another hand clap for you. Amen. God is somebody. I said, I'm going to ask you Bible says that. When I heard that that day, I said, I'm going to ask you to see what they say. I knew y'all knew the word. Amen. The word ain't going to go nowhere. Amen. But I shall uh, meditate. Now look at that eighth verse. But I shall meditate that day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For there thou shalt make thy way what? Prosperous. And then thou shalt have what? Good success. Good success. 
So that's the promise of God to me. Amen. If I meet the condition, I get the promise. Uh, bless God. And if I don't give up, amen, because I have a, a trial or circumstance in my life, and say, well, Lord, you know, I ain't got my promise yet, so I just believe I'll give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, they, they went, ah, uh -uh. they're over here preaching to me now. I need that preaching, Lord. Let them preach to me. Lord, amen. Look at night verse. Uh, have not I command thee, amen, be strong and what? I, I don't command you. I be strong in this thing now. Don't you give up. Amen. Uh, be not afraid. Don't be afraid of, of your circumstance situation. And neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee wheresoever thou goest. So wherever I go, God's going to be with me. Uh, is he going to be with me on the boat? No. Uh, he's going to be me at Motel 8 nope. with somebody else that ain't my wife. Nope. He ain't going to be with me. He said, well, where, wherever I go. If you're doing right. Oh, if I'm doing right. See, God, a victory is about, you ain't going to throw nothing on them over here. They know something. Only if you're doing right, because God is righteous. And the devil's wrong. You're going to be with somebody. You think you're with God. Then you ain't with God. You better get out of that thing. Lord, amen. Amen. Get a Lord another hand clap for you. Amen. God is somebody. Thank God for the word. Amen. Come with me now to page 10, amen, 43. Amen. Page 10. Amen. 43. Amen. Page 10. 43. Lord, have mercy God. I thank God we don't change. Uh, uh, you can read it tomorrow. It's going to say the same now. Amen. If you go and eat this tomorrow, it ain't going to change on you. Amen. Come with the page 10. 43. Amen. Man may change it, but the word ain't going to change. Amen. That's all. Uh, 5 and 33. Amen. 5 and 33. Amen. Bless God. Uh, 10 and, and 43? 10 43, Matthew. That, that ain't 5 and 33. Okay, that's 4. 4 and what? 4 and 33. Let me change that. Amen. And get lined up with the what? So it's 4 and 33 or 5 and 33? Is that? No, that's 6. 6 and 33. Yeah, there you go. Lord, I must. You said 4. I was going to say, oh, no. That's 6. 6 and what? I had 5. Somebody said 4. 6 and 33. 6 and 33. Amen. Now we're on the same one. Amen. See, over here, Big Team Bible Center, we get on the same page. And if we if we in error, who straightens out? The word. the word. Oh, we ain't trying to judge nobody over here. The word judges from the pulpit all the way to the back, also outside the door. If you're outside. <laughs> My God. Amen. Now we're on the same page. Amen. And we're gonna be on one accord, one mind. And one spirit, because the word is going to put us back where we need to be. Amen. So, uh, uh, but seek ye first what? Kingdom. The kingdom of God and who? And his righteousness. What, what kind of righteousness are you talking about? His righteousness. His righteousness. What is this righteousness is? Love. 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 The word, the law, the commandments, Lord, have mercy. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor, and you love yourself. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Bless God. If somebody slap you on one side, turn the other side. Uh, you're going to need some Jesus now. Don't y'all try that by yourself. You're going to need some of Jesus. You're going to need some Jesus. Don't give up. Don't give up if you fail to test. Because you're going to have another. Yes, indeed. And what I like about this, what I like about this, it's an open book test. You ain't cheating when you open the book. Just open the book, go back and read it again. And see how you can pass the test. Lord, have mercy of God. You go, you go to a school or class or something like that, they want you to put the, your notes up, all that stuff you got written in your hand, they don't want you looking in your hand. Hey Amen. A little piece of paper you got all that stuff on. And you got, you got it stuck under your shoe and all that. I don't know what you do, Lord. Let me, let me get back with you. Amen. But seek ye first, man, the kingdom of God, and man, his righteousness, and all what? Amen. So I got, I got a promise if I seek after him. I got a promise. So if my promise is if I seek out what he wants right, what he wants to do what is right, what his word says right, if I seek after that, the promise come in that he going to give me how much? All I need. My God, I'm up here struggling trying to make, him, make it happen. When God said, if I just put him first, he can make it happen for me. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, I ain't passing up this one, Lord. That's a good promise. 
Amen. I got to do something here. Uh, so the third, third word, third, fourth word, that uh, take that for no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought of it, a thing to itself. Sufficient the day is either of each one we're going to take one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Lord, have mercy. That's all I ask. Just one day at a time, Lord. Every day one at a time. So when the enemy bring all that other stuff to me, I'm going to cast my cows on God for God. Care for me. Amen. When you learn how to work that, that situation, you will have peace. I said, you have peace. You ain't worried about nothing. Amen. Give the Lord. I said, give the Lord another hand and clap for you. God is somebody. Amen. Bless God. I give it over to you, Lord. Amen. I give it over to you. Page 1313. Amen. Page 1313. Amen. Page 1313. Hebrews 12 and 1. Amen. Hebrews. Amen. 12 and 1. Hebrews 12 and 1, wherefore seen, ye also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. Who's our cloud of witness? As an angel and who else? People that have died. You got some folks that have died and went to heaven. Hey Amen. They're, they're hollering at you. Don't give up. <laughs> don't what? Don't give up. Don't, don't give up. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, do it. don't, do it. don't go over there. Don't do it. <laughs> Leave that alone. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. We got a cloud of witness. Amen. Bless God. Praise Amen. God. Uh, uh, let us lay aside every what? Wait. Every wait. Now, a cloud of witness telling us we got to lay this aside now. As a cloud of witness telling us. Lay it aside. And the sin that what? Let's do it. Do it so easily beset us. So our cloud of witness is, is, is cheering us on. Don't, 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 don't do that now. Amen. Bless God. And let us run uh, uh, with patience and raise that is set before us. Uh, how, how are we going to run with what? Patience. You ain't, ain't got to get in a hurry. No, sir. Just be patient. Wow. Uh, you need Jesus for that, too. You, you're, but you're, you're going to need some Jesus for being patient. Yes, I find I've run charts sometimes in a lot of things I need Jesus for. I don't need no little bit either. I need a whole lot of Jesus. Amen. I said, Lord, I need you. You got to help me. Amen. Bless God. So we're going to need some Jesus, man. We're going to run with patience. Amen. And don't what? Don't give up now. Don't give up. Amen. Look at the second part. Amen. Look at Jesus. The author and the finish of our faith. So who are we looking to now? Jesus. So you're looking to Jesus, amen, to win this race. You can't win the race without Jesus now. You can't have no patience without Jesus. So you will have to have some Jesus to have the patience and win this race. And don't give up. Don't give up. Stay humble. Stay humble. You heard about the Stay humble. Amen. Don't get beside yourself. Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, who for the joy? Amen. That was set before him and do the cross. Did Jesus Christ give up? No. He did what? He endured the cross. Jesus Christ didn't give up? Not at all. Now, he, when, when it got too hard for him, where did he go? He went to God. He, he went to God. He prayed. Said the same prayer? Three times. Three times. Jesus did. Now, if Jesus had to pray, what about us? Oh, we got to, oh, we got to pray. Oh, we got to go. Don't give up on your prayer life. Go I said, don't give up on your prayer life. Amen, because we got to pray. Oh, pray I don't even count mine no more. Hell, Lord, I, mean, I don't even count mine. I don't even know how many times it be. Lord, how much? I run out. Run out of count. Lord, I don't even count no more. Amen. Look at Jesus, amen. All the your faith. Amen. Who's the joy? Amen. Was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He despised the what? The shame. Amen. It was a shame for him as a king to, to go through what he went through because he was a king. So he despised the shame. He went through. Amen. Bless God. But where yet now? On the right hand of God. On the right hand of God. Because he, he didn't give up. Now there's another scripture that says, Amen. Uh, Lord, how much say? Uh, salvation comes to those uh, that endure to the end. So salvation only comes to those that are going to go all the way to the end with this. That don't give up. So if I endure all the way to the end, I know, Amen, salvation is mine. Bless God, because the word told me. Amen. Then I learned from Jesus Christ when he didn't give up. Amen. Bless God. He went all the way. Amen. Bless God. Now you're on the right hand of God. Because he didn't give up. He endured it. Went through. And got a blessing. Oh, there's a blessing on the other side. If you don't give up. 
Lord, have mercy, God. Give the Lord another hand clap for you. Amen. God is somebody. Third verse. Amen. Con consider him. Amen. That endured such contradiction. He said, you need to consider him. Use him for your example. Don't use nobody else because he might give up. Amen. Use Jesus. Who, 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 who for your example? Amen. Use Jesus in case somebody else give up. Lord, have mercy. Amen. For consider him, amen, that endured such contradiction, amen, of sinners against himself, lest ye be weird and faint in your mind. Oh, he don't want you to give up. So don't let your mind cause you to give up. So keep your mind on Jesus. Keep your mind on Jesus. All in the field you're facing you, and you won't, and you won't give up. Oh, but John got down. If you keep your mind on Jesus, you won't give up because you consider what he went through. He went all the way to the end to get the blessing. Now you're on the right hand of God, sitting on the throne. Lord, have mercy, God. Give the Lord a hand clap and thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen for not giving up. Lord, have mercy, God. When you could have, Amen. Bless God. Uh, thank you that you did. Amen. Let's look at another one now. Amen. Uh, Sometimes you get uh, a little, a little tired. So this is what you need to go do also. Amen. When you get a little tired, away, come with the page ten fifty. Amen. Page ten fifty. Lord, have mercy, God. Page 1050. Lord, I bless my own self here. Matthew 11 and 28. Amen. Matthew 11 and 28. Amen. Give the Lord, amen, another hand clap for his word. God is an awesome God. Thank God for that word. That word will keep you. Amen. Look at, uh, uh, come, come unto me, all you that are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So now, I, sometimes you get a little tired along the way, you need some rest. And sometimes when I get a little tired, I say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm coming to you for rest. Uh, I just, I just said, come out of my mouth like that because it's in the Word. Uh, so I live by faith, not by sight. Amen. So I go and I say, Lord, I'm a little tired. Amen. I need a little rest. And the Lord give me that rest. And then when I wake up, I don't feel like giving up. Now I got the rest of the Lord. I said, I got me some rest of the Lord. Then he told me, to, he gave me some other groceries in here that helped me out not to give up. Amen. Because he's going to help me with it. I said, he will. I said, the Lord going to help me with it. Amen. Uh, Take my yoke upon you, the 29 bird, and learn of me. So I have, to, I have to open that word, blow the dust off that Bible. Amen. Open that word. Amen. I ain't got no dust on my Bible. I mean, in fact, I need another one. Y'all can see that's why I'm there being used. I got tape all on it, trying to hold it together. But it's time for another one. Lord, have mercy, God. Uh, Lord, let me get back over here. Lord, have mercy. Now, uh, uh, heavy laden, and I will give you ready to take my yoke upon you and lighten me, for I am meek and lowly and hard. And hard. Lord, I'm meek and lowly now. You shall find rest unto your soul. Once I line of them, amen, and then his word going to tell me, amen, don't, 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 don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Live to him. Amen. Cast my cares on them. Lord have mercy. Bless God. Pray. Uh, seek after them. Uh, he told me don't give up now. Now he didn't, he didn't tell me what to do here. So if, I, I, if I'm doing that, I guess what? There ain't no way I can give up now. I got to go with Jesus. Oh, uh, he put in the load. I'm going for the ride. Lord have mercy. I'm going to learn that. Yeah, I'm gonna get rest for my soul now. My soul's unrested. It ready now. My soul ready to go again. That is right. Uh, for my yoke is easy, and my burden. He said, "Mine is not yours now." Well, you got why you get your burden with Jesus, Amen. So you can get a little light. I feel a little light up here, Amen. I, I, I'm yoked up with Jesus, Amen. This morning, so I feel a little light, Amen. Bless God. Uh, this afternoon is in noon time now. Amen. I, I feel a little light because, amen, the Lord, amen, and bless my soul. Amen. He didn't tell me what to do. I did it. Amen. And then he turned around there. Amen. Bless God. And bless me for doing it. Uh, bless God. Uh, we're going we're gonna to put a pin there because uh, our time is catching up with it. Uh, we're going to start at Philippians, be the Lord's will, 4 and 13. Amen. That's page 1281. I'm going to put a little check there. Amen. That's where we'll hopefully be the Lord's will. Lost by our life. Amen. Monday, we'll take off with it again. Because we got more groceries than we got time. Amen. Bless God. We're going to go to our spirits inside. Brother John, you want to take in that? Thank you, sir. Amen. Uh, Lord. Lord. Your word says.